We'll be off, yeah? All right, then. Two years ago, I met with Marika Stewart, a serving prisoner who'd been accepted onto Be On Sight, and she talked about how it had changed her life. I'm enjoying it. I still enjoy it, Nick, and that's the main thing, so, you know. Today, Marika is still on the scheme, and she's now following her dream of becoming a mentor for other people from disadvantaged backgrounds who may benefit from being part of Be On Sight. If I can help one person out of 100, I'd be happy with that. Everything that's going on out there with the young, the youths of today and stuff like that, I think I can play a major part in making them turn their life around, really. One innovative element that Be On Sight has developed is the first off-site manufacturing group training model. These Be On Sight trainees are making bathroom pods that will be installed in the athletes' village for the forthcoming 2012 Olympics. And I was keen to speak to one of them who, as you'll see, made quite a name for himself. A few years ago, I was known as a one-man crime wave, basically. Um, I, was, I was in trouble with the police a lot, basically, um, to do with drugs. Since I've been here, I do plumbing, I do dry lining, I do various multi-skilled. My family are proud of me. It's given me a, a respect amongst other people, I feel more confident since I've got this job. Um, a whole range of things, really. So examples there on some of the newer Be On Sight trainees who are coming into the system. But I was also keen to show you that since that launched two years ago when I spoke to you, how some of the trainees have developed. So I've come along here. No prizes for guessing where I am when I show you this shot of the Olympic Stadium for 2012. I'm actually a little bit away from that stadium, as you can maybe see from the sign behind me, in the Athletes' Village. There's a whole group of beyond site people working here, and as you're about to find out, some of them have moved into positions of responsibility in a relatively short space of time. How much more you got over there to do? Bill Bass and George Nolan were unemployed when they joined Beyond Sight. They quickly completed various training courses and have since been promoted to the role of supervisors, working on the athletes' village site. Well, I can safely say I progressed much faster. Um, it was very supportive and very helpful and it was always willing to throw a new, a new course that you needed, um, which helped progress even, even quicker than going through college. I, I enjoy the actual role that I've, I've got, but it's still a shock because I never thought in this short period of time that I'll be actually make the grade. George and Bill work alongside trainee Lorna Wilson. She was once homeless. Now though, she's pushing for a supervisor's role. Be on site actually gives you an opportunity to get into work if you want it. If you don't want it, don't come. But if you get the opportunity, take it. I believe that if you train a workforce in this area, They'll go out and start training other people and then you'll get the work coming in. George and Bill are prime examples of how Be On Site is also making an impact on entire communities close to construction projects. Both live near to the Athletes' Village, which stands in the borough of Newham. So I've now come to this uh, rather noisy little spot overlooking the city airport in London. Nothing to do with the aircraft landing and taking off, but all to do with the fact that the mayor of Newham has his office in this exact spot. So I wondered, what has Beyond Sight done for the council's aims to develop skills and employment opportunities in the local area? In order to get jobs, you have to make sure you've got the right skills to get into those jobs. And what Beyond Sight has done is take people, give them the training that businesses have asked for, not the training that we think they ought to have, but the training that will get them into job and then translated that into jobs at the end of it. And that is exactly the model that we want to be working in this borough. So I, I can't speak highly enough about the project. Well, I've put the business suit on because I've come back here into the city of London and the people here are only too aware of the pressures that the construction industry has faced over the last couple of years. The building in the background there is one new change, a mixed-use retail and office development which stands amid some of the most famous landmarks on the London skyline. It's being developed by Land Securities, which is one of Bovis Lendlease's biggest clients and a major supporter of Beyond Sight. So who, I wondered, 
would talk to me about what they liked about the project. Well, I'm a great believer in going directly to the top. There are training centres around the country um, which are offering training to a lot of young people, but there are two issues. Firstly, there's no certainty that somebody will get a job at the end of it, and often the training is slightly outdated. It's not linked to modern construction methods. What you get with Be On Site is a guarantee that you learn about um, the most modern construction techniques and there's a job at the end of it and that's what makes it unique. I certainly think we've learned as we've gone along the road from two years ago and that's really come from some of the great partnerships that we enjoy with people who've been helping us, who've been advising us, who've been supporting us and um, it's given us an accelerated uh, learning that actually we just could not have achieved if we'd been working in isolation. A lot of the success comes from the way people have responded to this initiative, embraced it and helped us. Two years ago we were pleased to secure the support of local MP Stephen Timms. At the time he was an industry minister, so two years on we were equally pleased when he asked to meet some of the latest trainees based at the Athletes Village. The approach that's being taken is the right one and there are some public policy lessons here. We need to make sure that public policy allows this kind of initiative to thrive because when there's a, a big investment like this one, we need to make sure that people in the local area get their full share of the benefits and that really is what this is about. So is expansion planned? Time to go to the top again, this time the head of Lendlease, which is Bovis Lendlease's parent company. Where we go from here is, is a fundamental question. Uh, what Beyond Side have been able to do over the last two years is prove the model, which is always important in any context to be able to prove that something works, and we've done that. Now, with the pipeline that Lendlease has, as chief executive of this organisation, I'm absolutely committed to use our pipeline to build Beyond Side to not only places like Stratford, but across our portfolio in the UK. So I see the next two years as being very exciting, and I think we'll be having a very powerful conversation in 24 months from now about Beyond Site's achievements. And that expansion is already taking place. An exciting new scheme is helping young offenders like Leon avoid going back to a life of crime once they've been released from prison. The Mayor of London has launched Project Daedalus. It's a scheme to provide a wide range of support for prisoners in units such as the Feltham Young Offenders Institution. Be on site has been included in that project and I'm going to the very top of the building to speak to somebody who's very close to the scheme who can tell me why they were selected. The critical thing about this scheme and what's different is that while those young men are inside, they are being prepared for the moment they will leave and to get their jobs. And key to that is about mentoring, it's about them being talked to and, and managed and prepared by the right kind of person. And what's innovative about Beyond Sight is that they have uh, a cohort of former offenders who are acting as mentors for those young men, both in Feltham and then as they leave and move into work. And being able to relate properly to their experience and show them, if you like, if you like the path to righteousness, is absolutely key to success. Sometimes, like some of the guys stare at you and that over. And the Young Offenders program will help to complete Marika Stewart's ambition to use her own experiences with Beyond Sight to help to keep some of those young offenders from going back to prison. If we start doing this mentoring thing, I'm going up the ladder with everybody else, you know, and I'm taking whoever we're bringing behind us, we're all going up the ladder. So that, that's, that's the aim, really. You know, two years' time, I'm, I'm hoping to be standing here as one of the managers or, or something like that, and you've got another person like me talking to you. That's my aim.